Cefpidoxine proxidil is a type of antibiotic that is used to treat many different types of bacterial infections. It belongs to the cephalosporin class of antibiotics, and it works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It's important to note that this medication only treats bacterial infections and will not work for viral infections like the common cold or flu. It's important to use this medication only when it is prescribed by a doctor, as using antibiotics when they are not needed can cause them to not work for future infections. The dosage and timing of taking this medication will depend on the specific infection being treated, so it's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. When taking cefpidoxine proxidil, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Typically, you'll take this medication every 12 hours. If you're using the tablet form, take it with food to help your body absorb the drug. If you're using the suspension form, you can take it with or without food, but be sure to shake the bottle well before each dose. The dosage will be based on your medical condition and how you respond to the therapy. For children, the dose will also be based on their weight. It's important to note that medications which reduce or block stomach acid, such as proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, H2 blockers, or antacids, may reduce the absorption of cefpidoxime, so it's best to ask your doctor or pharmacist how to use these safely with cefpidoxime. If you take antacids, take them at least two hours before or after this medication. To get the best results, take this antibiotic at evenly spaced times, and try to take it at the same time every day to help you remember. It's crucial to continue taking this medication until the full prescribed amount is finished, even if your symptoms disappear after a few days. Stopping the medication too early may cause the infection to return. Be sure to tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse. If you experience diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, or headaches while taking cefpidoxine proxidil, it is important to speak with your doctor or pharmacist. While most people do not experience serious side effects, it is important to be aware of potential issues such as swelling of the ankles or feet, fatigue, rapid or pounding heartbeat, difficulty breathing, signs of infection, dark urine, yellowing of the eyes or skin, easy bruising or bleeding, or signs of kidney problems. In rare cases, this medication may cause a severe intestinal condition called C. difficile, which can lead to symptoms such as persistent diarrhea, abdominal pain, or blood-slash-mucus in the stool. If you experience these symptoms, it is important to seek medical attention and avoid using antidiarrhea or opioid products. Prolonged use of cefpidoxine proxidil may result in oral thrush or a new vaginal yeast infection. If you notice white patches in your mouth, changes in vaginal discharge, or other new symptoms, contact your doctor. While very rare, a serious allergic reaction to this medication is possible. If you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. This is not a complete list of potential side effects, so it is important to speak with your doctor or pharmacist about any concerns or issues you may have while taking this medication. Before taking cefpidoxine proxidil, make sure to inform your doctor if you have any allergies to penicillins, cephalosporin antibiotics, or any other substances. Also, let your doctor know about your medical history, especially if you have kidney disease or stomach-slash-intestinal disease. It's important to note that this medication may affect the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, such as the typhoid vaccine. Be sure to inform your healthcare professional if you are using this medication before getting any immunizations or vaccinations. For older adults, there may be a higher risk of experiencing side effects from this drug. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used if absolutely necessary, so be sure to discuss the potential risks and benefits with your doctor. Additionally, if you are breastfeeding, talk to your doctor before using this medication, as it can pass into breast milk and potentially have negative effects on a nursing infant. Now let's talk about how to use cefpidoxine proxidil. It's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that could affect how this medication works. Always keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Also, be mindful that this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, such as Coombs test and certain urine glucose tests, potentially causing false results. Therefore, make sure that the lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are using this drug. When taking cefpidoxine proxidil, 
it's important to follow the dosage and timing recommended by your doctor for the best results. If someone has taken too much cefpidoxine proxidil and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Please do not share this medication with others. Cefpidoxine proxidil has been prescribed for your current condition only. Do not use it later for another infection unless your doctor tells you to. If you forget to take a dose of cefpidoxine proxidil, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing cefpidoxine proxidil, it's important to keep the tablets at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Avoid storing them in the bathroom. As for the suspension, it should be kept in the refrigerator, away from light and heat. Make sure not to freeze it and keep the container tightly closed. It's important to throw away any unused medication after 14 days. And always remember to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of cefpidoxine proxidil, it's essential not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard the product when it's expired or no longer needed. If you're unsure about how to do this, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.